Yeah, hey everybody, and welcome back. My name is Tiki, and this is Divinity Original Sin 2. What were you doing? Anyway, on the last episode, we learned that we were uh, void woken. Booga booga. We also gave her a uh, soul vial thing back. And now the world is just filled with people who won't shut up. What do you have to sell? Nothing useful. Soon enough. All right. Uh, the what do you have? Has abandoned the maps and now prepares his armor with happy urgency. Okay, so he, he has the. Thank you again for all you done for us. Thank the goddess Amara. There really isn't anything much else here that I would find useful. Maybe sword to knife. Gratiana, my newest and oldest friend. Maybe heart of steel. Medusa head. Snakes of your head, giving you a petrifying aura and petrifying visage skill. It's Incompatible with bullhorns, well, that's okay. Chameleon cloak might also be useful. But yeah, let's just sell all our wares for now. This guy's got a lot of cash. <coughs> I haven't found a single person that has, like, belts. He'll take care of us. I'm looking for belts. None of my people have belts. But yeah, this episode is going to be a little bit of a... I almost want to say an admin episode, like a clean-up episode. Now with uh, what I mean by that is we have a few loose ends that we need to tie up. Uh, the first of those being, um, I'd like to go and have a look at these burning piggies and see if, if we can do something for them. The quickest way to get to there, I guess, is going to be... Finally get out of here. Now that Garrett's returned. Oh, Hollow Marsh's abandoned camp. Is that the boat they were talking about? Okay, anyway, uh, focus. All right, yeah, either the piggies, or we check out Brachus's armory, or we can go hunting after these chests. Oh, remember down here in the in these caverns, there was that area that I thought was trapped or something. Let's go check that out first. Fort Joy Square. Okay. So let's head on down in here. So how are you guys doing? Ooh. Hopefully still enjoying the series. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Remember this place? There was this area back here that had some suspicious things going on. Well, I think we are more than ready to face whatever this area has. So... Shovel. Let's get at it. I feel uneasy here. Don't worry about it. I think we're big. Oh, excuse me. Level three. We're level seven. Charged amphibian. So I guess I was right then. Wow! I can tentacle slap you from here. I guess its range increases the more you go. Let's go say hello. And don't move. Amphibian leap. Salty mucus. That sounds like fun. So who is going to die first? I don't have it. They don't have magic armor. So I'm going to throw you with a fireball because fun. And then I'm going to Mosquito Swarm you to death. Jeez. Oh, okay, well, if you do that, I guess, then I can't get a hit on you. Ow. Okay, uh, you can walk all the way over here... ...without costing anything. Can I get a hit off? No. That is fine. Let us just use the normal teleporter. And then stabby step. Wow. These things are easy to kill. 
Don't walk through the poison. Quite all right. Okay. Don't think that we can do much about that. Let's uh, armor up. And then I guess we can just la 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 over here. They kind of wiggle when they walk. It's really funny. Wee! All right. Can we? No, we can't. I really do need more ranged attacks. Yeah, you don't want to turn your back on me. Ow! Don't tongue me. Ow! Incredibly rude. Um. So what are you gonna do? Stand in the poison. And then, I don't know what else. Because you can't really do much from here. Just end your turn, I guess. Stab him to death. And again. Oh, you're stunned. Interesting. Didn't know that stunned you. Armor up. And I can throw you with my shield. Boing. You're dead. And that was it. Really. That was sad. Okay, oh, well, alright, I guess we can still loot everything. God, that's one loose end. Yeah, sure. How much is this worth? 95, that's decent. Let's grab this ooze barrel. I think I have a recipe that's uh, crafting. A potion. You're using a whole barrel just to make one poison bottle. Oh, you can make more than one. Okay, you can make infinite, it seems. Okay, so if you carry an ooze bottle around, that's just like an infinite amount of poison. Okay, but then we should give that to like Mr. Poison Boy himself. Mr. Fane. That's yours. Enjoy. It weighs 60. Jeez. Okay, you're not carrying anything else, so have fun. And I guess I can then just give all the poison bottles to you. That's that's your health from now on. Your health pots. You can probably make stronger ones as well. Don't care. Figure it. Children's gloves. That's not even worth selling. A frying pan. All right. Anything in here? Uh, what's this spot? Ooh. I checked on the map. There's like this tiny little spot. One second. My phone is ringing. Okay, and I'm back, so let's have a look. I'm pretty sure we can sneak that chest over here. That's a staff and some other stuff. Okay, fine. There seems to be another sneaky area. Ooh. It's a sign and some stuff. Let's go check it out. I think we're done there. There's another poison barrel. Okay. Okay. Let's have a looky. What is up there? The adventure of the hero. Sebel, you can do sneaky stuff. Modi's fort. Let's read. The book is written in the uneven scroll of the young hand. Once there was a hero, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you guys can read that in your own time. Contamination. A penny bun mushroom. A wooden figurine. That's expensive. Sure, let's grab it. Sign first. Modi's place. No grown-ups allowed. Except heroes. Huh. I like how he puts, like, inflection on the words, even though it's just a sign. 
All right, and we're back. Okay, well, I guess that means that this has been... Signed off, ticked off, handled. All good and well and done. And we are... I, d I still don't know what's in here, though. The Last frogs time. are gone. The children shall be safer. I see the good in you. I see all of you. No! Okay. Wait, cool. I call the timer! So this thing, he, they were saying it's too small. This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. All right. Not sure if I can do much about that. Let's talk to this dude. Hallowed is the house of war. I agree. They don't have much new. So, eh. Cool, bye. Okay. So, next, let us go check out that chest. Should be over this this way. Yeah, yeah, over here. Do 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 do. -do. I might as well just set these people free if I could, because all the magisters are dead. See, he likes it thick and long. Who the hell is this? Combs it out all dilly -eyed. Oh, beast! He say he likes it big and strong. Okay, well, we'll go talk to him in a second. I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> Let's have a look at the... Oh, wait. Hopefully you can this time. Aha! Mm, yay. All the gold is worth it, I guess. Okay, so now we can remove you. Okay, let's go say hi to... To Beast. Jeez. You're over here the whole time, huh? What are you doing? Trying to fix this boat, huh? That's gonna... That's quite a fixer-upper, huh? Come on, you stubborn hunk of garbage. The dwarf's fingers clamp around a splintered chunk of wood nailed to the skeleton of an old ship. His whole body strains with the effort of wrenching the plank free, to no avail. Ah. Hail! You recognize the fellow from the ship. Tell him you're glad to see he made it away from the wreck. Eh? Oh, that. That uh, won't be my first or last roll on a lost boat. Reckon I might have had a harder time of it without your help, though. Bravery on the high seas is rewarded tenfold in the hall, you know. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got business to attend to. The dwarf spits into each of his calloused palms and rubs them together, before placing them both back on the plank and pulling. <sighs> Bleeding nail must be... Charmed or something. Okay, repeat your offer. Would you like some help? Ugh, go and then give it a go. You grab the plank and pull, but strain as you might, the pesky plank doesn't budge. Ugh, forget it. Thanks for trying, though. You're a good kid. I'd offer you a cold one if I had one on hand for your trouble. Okay, telling you doubt that the old plank was worth a coin. No, but I'd hope to build something with it that would be worth a thousand. Yeah, we're a fool's errand thinking I could make something out of this heap, but I couldn't help myself from trying. He sucks a finger and holds it up to the wind, testing the breeze. Winds like these. She would have capsized before she reached the break. Well, on to plan B. Um, so he was building a vessel, was he? He gives you a wry look, as though deciding whether to trust you. Aye, was planning to build me a raft and paddle off. I've got business north of here, in a town called Driftwood. Far be it from me to miss an appointment. Mmm, okay. S wish him luck and take your leave. Hold on there, lad. You looking to spend the rest of your days on this island? Or do you want to get out? Mmm, well, I already have a way out. Just kind of have to get to it. I'm telling you, you thought about it. Finding that way is... No, not exactly. That's exactly what you have in well, mind. Well, now, that makes two of us, doesn't it? He crosses his great burly arms across his chest and scans you with his good eye. Hmm. I reckon. Yep, you'll do. Why don't we make a deal then? You help me get out of this place, and I'll do the same for you. Um, I'd like to, but you see, my team's kind of full right now. I'm not looking for company right Happy now. Happy to trundle around with a group of amateurs at your heels, are you? <laughs> or not, but your own skinny shadow. 
Your funeral, lad. I'll be here when you change your mind. Okay. I'd like to have be cool to have a you know a dwarf on my side, but we're kind of full up right now. Seville's weird and insane. He is pompous, arrogant, and insane. He's a thousand years old and still insane. All right, well, let us head over to the beach. We got some business with this chest over here. It's a bit of a walk, isn't it? Yeah, holy crap. Now that I look about it, it's closer to, like, start here, actually. Hmm, let's see. I can't grab it somehow. Maybe if I get up higher? Still nah. Can you do something about it? Nope. Nope. Okay, well, I guess uh, it's the long way around then. I'm going to just move to the square. And from there, I'm going to head on... No, is it this way? No, it's at the front gate. Jeez, poor Magister Atusa. She was helping us. And then she got... Exploded. Oh uh, well, we're off to see the wizards, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Mm, we're gonna have to go over to this side, okay. Where we met Fane. So a friend came to me recently and uh, I'm starting to realize some more stuff about America, stuff that makes me sad. One of my friends who's from America, he came to me recently and uh, he talked about how some of his friends, well, quote unquote friends, I'm not sure how much of a friend you are when you do stuff like that, but they were basically calling him lazy for, well, how am I going to put this even? Basically... He was happy with being what he was and where he was. Kind of just like a... You know, he's not a supervisor, but he's not like the brand new dude that started in the office. Or, well, the place that he works at. But he was happy where he is because... And uh, in his own words... Is this shoes? You know, in his own words, he said quote unquote I would just fuck up responsibility um, and I find that admirable you know know your limits and live within it that's my saying and uh, then we got to talking I, I asked him like why does he think that you know he isn't he isn't worthy of being you know something better something bigger something higher something oh I almost stole that helper um, and then he said he doesn't want the responsibility because, again, he doesn't feel he can handle it. Like, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want to be bothered with it. And uh, I'm like, okay, if that's fine, um, so what do you want to do with your life? And then he spoke of, like, he doesn't, like, really want to start a family, but he kind of wants to play music and he wants to kind of just travel and see the world you know he right now he's just kind of doing this thing because he kind of has to is there a way in here what's what's the point of this little cliff anyway and uh so i'm like yeah okay well that's perfectly fine but his friends are like yeah you know you're competent you can you can make manager within a year and then he told them that he he's not interested and the more he told them that he's not interested, the more irate they became. Let's go over here to the Hollow Marshes. Okay, and then we can head north and around to the piggies. Yes. Okay. Um, which got us to talking about stuff like entitlement, basically. And the way that we got to that topic is basically he tell he told me that people in America 
well, parents in America basically tell their children, and it's on television and it's everywhere, is this quote unquote like propaganda that anyone can do anything, you know, like if you just try, you know, pump your chest and put your shoulder to the wheel, whatever, you can do and aspire to absolutely anything. Yes, even you, kid, who hasn't passed a single class in school, even you can become a theoretical physicist if you really want to. And that's a sentiment that I unfortunately, or well, that we here in Southern Africa, we don't, we don't share something like that. Like, what we get taught in school is like, yo, you should find your talents ASAP so that you can know what you're up to and what you're up for and where you're headed in life. None of that, hey, yeah, you can do anything you want to know. It's like, okay, from grade, let's say grade four or grade five, when we've had a little bit of time to develop our aptitudes, we are basically, every year we have a class that runs for the year. It's not just a single class, but in that class we have like aptitude tests and talent development processes and stuff like that where we bring out what we can do and what we can't do and uh, one of the big things of that class is as soon as the teacher realizes this isn't for you she'll just straight up tell you you should give up like this is not something that you are capable of and you're wasting your time is it well not exactly in that it's not told that harsh but she just like gently nudges you in a different direction Anyway, I'm going to check what this bless skill does. I'll go on with that story in a second. I'm going to check if we can bless the piggies. The flames are extinguished. Thank oh. Hmm. Yes. Oh God, that's freaky. The menacing skeletal guardian looks at you wearily, then yawns. So you dare defy the will of Blackus Rex, prepare to die, and so on and so forth. Let's get this over with. Mm, Glare to an Oscar lizard became to be a pawn of Blackus Rex. I am, was, a lizard of opportunity. You think I should remain loyal to my house when Blackus Rex can turn me into a lesser being in the blink of an eye? I hope this brings the discussion to an end. I don't like being roused from slumber, only to be greeted by such banality. Mm, Bracus Rex is dead. Do skeletons really sleep? Um, the pigs are no threat to her on fire or not. It is not my place to question Bracus Rex's will. I am to execute those who defy his legacy. He's dead. Besides, there are far worse fates Bracus Rex could have visited upon you. This island itself is proof enough of that. Bracus Rex is dead. Say. She moans impatiently and taps her bony foot. Yes, yes, I know he's dead. I am still obligated to perform his wishes. He may not live, but the threat of his curse hangs over me. Tell her there is no curse that that could know if she let you be. She should leave and return to her nap. Oh, yay. It is as you say. In any case, no curse could possibly be worse than this droning drivel. Jeez. Be on your... The Guardian chokes on her words as if strangled by an invisible hand. Oh. Um... Ooh. Well, suddenly I'm not like sad that I killed her. Look at all this fat stuff. Holy crap. That is the skill book that I wanted to get anyway for what's her face. Sybil, this is yours. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, that's still kind of eh. If you give it to him though. Yeah, you see that's still... It's like one point better and he gets a skill. Set Necrofire for one turn. Sure, alright, that's better, I, I would say. Okay, then we can just reduce these to... To loot. No one uses staffs. Magical Dwarven Daggers. That worse or better? No, that's better. It's ever so slightly better. Gonna keep that. Identify this. Okay, you don't have a ring yet. So I guess you can use the ring. 
And I'm not gonna put on ba Brachus's band, that's absurd. Okay. This requires intelligence, so obviously this is yours. Jeez. And then the finesse boots can be yours? Yeah, it's slightly better. And these ones are strength. What boots do I have on? Shitty boots. Sure, they're mine. All right. Cool. We're done playing hand me down. Let's mark those as loot. Keep those around. The book, Sabel. You are going to read that book. Where is it? Yes. Learn it. Good girl. Contamination goes to Fane. This is nonsense. It can come to me. Uh, okay, we can keep that. can keep that. That's fine. Okay, anyway, I'm going to... Save, and then I'm going to go run through some more source. And I guess we can cure another piggy. But anyway, so... I believe that in America, everybody's like... I, I can be wrong. Somebody please, like, Careful. correct I me. Spotted a trap. Don't step on it. Okay, anyway. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems that... Because this isn't the first friend that I hear this from. I've heard it from several sources. Ah, the flames are extinguished. Thank you. You are very welcome, Piggy. Let me grab the last little bit of source and put out the last swine. Unless there are more. Yeah, there's more. That's fine. We'll heal all the piggies. The flames are extinguished. Thank you. You're very welcome, piggy. I wonder where you're going now. But I want to heal all the piggies. See what happens. There's one more flaming piggy over there. At last, the fire is quenched. Okay, so that's, I guess this is to teach you what, how you can heal Necrofire? Is there any more source anywhere? If not... No more source? Okay, I guess we can just pop one of the flasks. Yeah, yeah, sure. Use it. The pictograms on the jar stand fixed. As Absorb you reach it. into the jar, the source flows into your body. You feel warm, lightheaded, and you pulse with power. You blink, and for a split second, you're looking through the soul's eyes. You see a locked dungeon, cards scattered on a table, and a pair of skeletons. The image only lasts a moment, and then you're back, the empty soul jar in your hand, while its power pounds through your body. Awesome. All right. One more piggy to heal. The curse is lifted. Thank you, stranger. You're very welcome, piggy. Where will you go? Apparently nowhere. That is all right. Anyway. So while everybody is told that they can be everything, when they fail at doing those things... They are also told that it's not their fault. Which is where we began having issues. Well, me and my friend. Where we beha like began having issues with this whole story. Because you're told, you know, you can do no wrong from when you're both. Your mama's precious and perfect little boy or girl, you know. And you can do absolutely no wrong. And... So, if you fail, then it means that the cause of your failing is... Oh my sweet god, what is this? What did I just walk into? Anyway... Sorry, that just legit scared the shit out of me for a second. There's a rat, okay. 
Void Woken Deep Dweller. Well, you're scary. Okay, so step one. Can we? We can. Who am I gonna haste? You're out of sight. How are you out of sight? Where are... Oh, you're literally right down there. Fine, let's haste Seville. Like, poison heals them. So... Let us... Rip. And then give yourself a little armor. So I just feel, to just sum up my thoughts uh, before we go on. You are said you can't do anything, but then at the same time you're told you can do no wrong. Which then brings about this idea that if you fail, it's not your fault. Ergo, you can do anything, and therefore you should be able to, right? So why should things fail for you? This breeds this idea of entitlement around people, and... When I visited America last year, I absolutely got that sense around a lot of the people that I ran up against. Even, like, coffee barristers had this air around them of, you know, a, ever so slight little bit of arrogance. Like, oh, you know, I should be happy that they're helping me type of deal. Because, you know, I could be an astronaut right now. But my friend is happy being where he is and uh, he mentioned that you know if there weren't followers in the world then there wouldn't be any leaders and uh, he thinks that this is very useful for him because even as a follower he thinks he has a purpose and that is absolutely true and you should not be ashamed you should not feel bad that you're happy rather following somebody than you are aspiring uselessly to lead. At the very least, this is my opinion at the end of the day. And to a lesser extent, his. Oof. You, it is you. I have found you. The red, dead prince. The vermin. Holy shit. That was like 20,000 moves. I'm gonna throw you with my shield. And then I'm going to... Heal you, I guess? I'm ready. But yeah, and I... I personally take a lot of offense when... People are told that they can do anything. Because it's not always true. And then telling them that they are lazy for accepting that they have limits. And accepting that, hey, maybe I'm not that good at certain things. You know, this person is happy being and doing what they are. And here you are telling them that they're lazy. And I'm not okay with that. Though that is just me. That's blocked by armor. Who doesn't have... Oh yeah, it was you. I'm immune to bleeding, which is fine. Do we have a dead corpse somewhere? Not yet. Oh well. No, don't poison. That'll heal them. I guess you can just move a little bit. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think it's, it's fine... If someone is, you know, he's happy following or he's happy letting someone else take the lead and not aspiring to be some leader of some sort. Because I think that's admirable. Not everybody is quote unquote that woke. I hate that term. <laughs> Um, this is blocked by physical armor, and it doesn't deal any damage, so that literally needs to be gone. This does 33 to 36. 
So I'm just going to beat the crap out of you for now. There you go. Who did you just hit? Yourself? That's kind of silly. Can I do this to you? And then get behind... Oh, I can't get behind that dude? Can we get behind this dude? Hi. I think you need to die. You. It is you. I have found you. The red dead prince. Oh, hi. The vermin. Why are you here? Nice dodge, Fane. It's time that all of you sat your asses down. Uh, yeah, just armor up. Don't walk. You're gonna die. Are you still alive? I keep forgetting about you. Oh, but my bro over here, he's a dodge master. Run, 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 run. Okay, so, what are we gonna do? That guy's almost basically literally dead. I can cripple you. And then just give you another... I think I'm gonna chicken you. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. I meant. You. Bane. Traitor. Destroyer. You. Asshole. Void woken idiot. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm not sure that's gonna hit though. Yeah, I keep wanting to do it. So let's just get in his area of influence. I wish there was a way of forcing them to just walk. Just get over there. And then you can still cast this. Oh, cool. Stop yelling like that. Jeez, you killed this dude. He's dead. Who wants haste? Glory is mine. And anyone want some armor? No? Nah. Alright. Can't attack him. Alright, fine. Interesting fight this. Didn't expect it. And this episode's been going on for a while. Just gonna finish this fight and then we're all done, I guess. The slaps were pretty hard, so... Get... Atrophy. What was that noise? Beat the chicken! <laughs> He's just doing all sorts of weird stuff that I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. But yeah, taunt. Oh, he can move again. Okay. He was smart not to move when he was injured. And he's probably gonna have an attack, yeah. And then I dodged, or fine dodged. Die. Oh, the poison heals. Of course it does. Please die. He rocked your world. Now burn. Interesting. Don't move. Jeez, this guy's got a lot of attacks. Which is fine, I also have a whirlwind. And I've got wings. But most of all, no, she has... Decaying. Healing spells will damage you, so never mind that then. Uh, fine. Do nothing. 
Okay. Okay. Wow, it's finally your turn. I feel like I've, like, forgotten about you. Go murder this dude. Flesh sacrifice. And one more stab. Ooh. You, it is you. I have found you, the red dead prince, the vermin. Okay. I'm gonna throw you with my shield. And then it hit the ground, of course. Um, can I... This, this guy has so little health. But this guy needs... No, you need to die first. And that's it for you. You have two health, dude. What are you doing? You have to just die. And then I'm gonna go say hello to our little friend over here. Hi. So, surprise. Get smacked. You. It is you. I have found you. Vermin. Just die. You're not gonna be able to kill any of us. But you certainly have a thousand different things that you like to do. I'm going to... No, I'm going to shield up. And then I'm going to see if I can knock your ass on the ground. Unfortunately, not from here. So just stand there, I guess. Oh, look, it's fine. Die, die. And one more. Champion of the gods. Okay, let's get everybody in the same area. Let's heal up. Let me heal you. Let me shield you. Until you find You me. have my thanks, my lady. I already found you, though. In the battle's aftermath, you suddenly realize the Void Woken called out your name. I recognized us. It recognized us, and it creeps me out. Calm yourself. Meditate. Don't acknowledge your own weakness. How could such simple beasts know my name? Surely my fame has not spread that far. <laughs> Your fame. The Void plays tricks. I pay them no heed. And that's it. Okay, well, fine. Certainly has a whole bunch of fat loot. A spear? Hmm. It's too bad this is more of a finesse thing. Ah, finally a belt. Crafting Bible. Let's read this. Thank you. Doesn't have much value, so I'm not gonna keep it. Um, were they the only ones down here? Just gonna loot it, and then I guess we'll end it for then. Until then. For now, whatever. Nothing, nothing. Decomposing the swashbuckler. Oh, some stuff. Okay, well, that was an interesting fight. I did not expect this to be here. No idea who these things were. But it seems that there's a cave of some sort up here. Anyway. Guys, I... Oh, wait, let's go check this cave first. I appreciate a like and a comment. I would appreciate it even more, though, if you would tap that sub button. Granted, you enjoy my content, of course. But as usual, I would like to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And uh, I hope to see you next episode for some more fun times murdering stuff. Now, I'm not, I don't think we entirely did everything we wanted to do. Next episode, I guess we're going to go into Brachus' armor and check what's going on there. Leia. Who the hell is Leia? Anyway, see you guys in the next one, and bye-bye for now.